Well, hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Just to let you know, if you feel like you're in a twin flame connection, then this reading is not for you. Um, this is a singles reading, so I will be doing the twin flame reading in the next couple of days. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Ooh. What do they need to know regarding their love? Ooh, wow. Strange energy here, I see. We have soulmate and true love. Okay, we'll put these down the side here. Um, it's kind of like a slippery kind of energy um, going on there. Um, and a little bit of electricity, so I'm not surprised to see that soulmate card come out there. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I'm using a Mirror's Love Oracle to open the reading so they can give me a guide as to who's coming for you, what kind of energy. And I'm using Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels as well to get the uh, overall energy of what they'd like to talk about. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I take jumpers from the pack. I do not choose the card as I believe that is my energy, not the message you're meant to receive. Everyone's different. There is no right or wrong way. Okay, they've asked me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide and Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? I did a pre-shuffle and twice past life came up, um, both in both decks, just to let you know. And we have chemistry here. Okay. So, we've got a soulmate coming on in here. It is true love. They just want to indicate that for you. Um, and um, just move that over here. So we've got stay optimistic about your love life, Taurus. So you may have felt like you were giving up here, uh, like it's never going to happen. But there is someone new coming on in here, and it is soulmate material. Someone who is um, wanting to stay within your life. It is divinely guided here, and they're indicating the true love. And we have the soulmate. So there's a lot of electricity, a lot of... Um, as I was uh, picking up the cards initially, the deck um, became very energized, very slippery there. So um, definitely a highly charged connection is coming on in for you. Now, you may have been offering up lots of um, visions to the, uh, to the universe there uh, about what you are hoping to find in terms of new love. Now, you may have had a certain list because it feels very much like an offering, like you're showing the universe, this is what I would love. You know, if you could send me someone like this, it would be amazing. And the universe is listening here um, because uh, it says positive thinking and, and faith will bring you romance. So they're really highlighting uh, the offering that you're giving almost to the universe here. And as you can see, um, there's like um, a statue there. Um, they're actually giving me the, the, the name Eros. So that's obviously the God of love. And um, they're indicating just by that uh, figure here, there is a victory wreath. Can you see that? Now, it may have taken some time to get here, but you're going to be very victorious with this connection. Someone new coming on in here. It will lead to a lot of growth. Um, yeah, they really want to highlight this uh, wreath here as well, the offering. Uh, it is a, an offering for someone new, a rebirth um, of love, as it were, um, because it feels like you've been doing a lot of work to let go of baggage from the past. And that doesn't mean in terms of love. It means, you know, you've been working on yourself, um, not just to get your finances sorted, but, you know, anything from childhood or, you know, growing up or, you know, releasing anything that does not serve you that feels very heavy. You've been doing a lot of work there. So it feels like this is, it, it's, it feels like it's quite, um, I want to get a timeline for it, but it feels quite present, like it's going to happen very soon. Um, now, you may be wondering, how am I going to meet someone soon, especially with things going on around the world, etc., etc., where some, you know, it's hard to go out and meet somebody. Um, but they're indicating something about perhaps you're planning some sort of a getaway, even for a weekend. It feels like perhaps you, I'm seeing like a... Okay, this is very precise, so I'm just going to give it to you the way they give it to me. It's like um, perhaps you're part of some sort of... Um, 
online discussion group about meeting up to go walking, you know, like, I, dare I say like ramblers or something? I mean, I, I don't even know. That's very precise. That's not for everybody. They just said not for all. So um, perhaps you're, you're uh, connected to something. It, it feels very much like the outdoors is where you get this connection. You meet this person. Um, but we're going to go deeper and find out because they're just giving me a vision here of it. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll find out a little bit more as we go deeper. Um, we've also got finances and career. OK, so you may have been burying your head here um, in your finances um, until it's uh, the right time to pick the right one in terms of love okay because as you can see um well actually they just corrected me they said no Taurus is very picky and rightly so Taurus very very important to be very picky here it says financial issues are a factor in your love right life right now okay so yeah you may be just you know doing your, your career there getting your all your finances in order doing your job basically um because I mean, if you're lucky enough to still have a job in these times at the moment, it feels like you're you're making sure your finances go the distance for the circumstances that you're in at this present moment in time. But they're indicating here that you're very picky. OK. And as I said, rightly so there um, you're waiting for the right one. Not anybody's going to do for you, Taurus. you got a certain perhaps they're showing me like a list. OK, it's, it, the list came from this card. Uh, they're showing me you have a certain set of a, it's almost like a, a certain yeah it's like a list of things that you want in a person um and they're some of it's very precise and they're giving me that you know um obviously the uh, things like you know they must be trustworthy they must be you know um fun to be with a good heart um, you know, warm, affectionate, those things are very important. But when you've got on your list, you know, they must be like five foot eight or six foot two, or, you know, I don't like big hands or I don't like toes or so I don't know. I'm just making a joke there. But I mean, um, if you've got something that's very precise, you actually um, cross off things that the universe may have a perfect person for you lined up and then they sort of have to dismiss that person because you put it on the list that they've got something um, that you don't want on the list. OK, so they're they're saying, yes, have have an idea of who you want, because the visualization is very important. But um, don't be so picky. OK, about the finer details, as long as the person's got a good heart and, you know, they're easy on the eyes, eyesight, as it were. But there's someone's coming on in here for you who it feels very much like they're equally the energy I'm getting is this person is equally, um, you know, inter you know, doing well at their job. They're they're very focused uh, financially, and they think they're thinking about long term security and longevity in a relationship. Okay, so there's someone here who's coming on in soulmate energy, uh, who's just as um, ready to settle down as you are, Taurus. It feels very much like um, this person is not going to play any games. OK, is, is the indication I'm getting from this reading. Um, now, we do have heart to heart conversations and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So with this card, they're indicating here that in the past, you may have hidden how you feel about people, Taurus, uh, in love relationships because you were not sure how the other person felt about you. Perhaps uh, you were with someone in the past who was distant closed off to emotion. I really feel like this person who's coming on in, the soulmate, is more open, but you may have been burnt in a past relationship. They're just asking you to look at any final baggage to release there because they want you to uh, connect to this person with a very open heart, okay? They're really highlighting this card to me um, where, you know, it's, it, it feels like an equal exchange. Um, that's coming on in this new love for you, okay, um, where it's in balance, in harmony, and um, they're going to offer your heart, uh, offer their heart to you. It's going to be very open, okay, very honest exchange. They're just indicating, you know, to don't hide your wonderful self, you know, be open there and have the conversations, the difficult conversations that are hard to have, you know, be free and confident that you can have them with this person because they're meant for you. It's divinely guided. OK, um, now we do have the chemistry card turns up here. Strong magnetic connection here. This this connection is off the charts. OK, um, as you can see, it was like so energized with this Mirrors Love Oracle deck. Um, the, the cards were like literally 
so passionately sort of slipping through my hands there. Um, but this person, your your connection, that this person, this new person who's coming on in, it will be balanced. But it really feels like this person who's coming on in here, they want to give you their all. Okay, Taurus? It feels like this person gives everything they have over to you because they understand what it feels like to be burnt in a connection. They There's an energy here that this person... Um, they respect what it is to be open and vulnerable in a connection and they recognize how precious it is to come uh, together in unison and in unity and sort of uh, it is like be, being vulnerable you know open up to another okay it feels like this person they get a real thrill when uh you are very open to them, okay? When you tell them secrets that um, you don't tell everybody, or, you know, so Spirit is saying these heart-to-heart -heart conversations is like a meeting of minds. This person, not only do they fall for, you know, uh, the aesthetics on the outside, they're very connected and uh, they get turned on by someone's mind, okay, Taurus? So conversation is very, very important here. Now, before I've even picked up the deck, I'm like, they're just giving me Gemini, 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 okay? So let me see what, what's going on in the deck here um, before we call Gemini as being um, somewhere in this person's chart. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Bright Angels. Can you please? Oh, wow, right in the water. Okay, so the first card we got here is the Tower. Okay, so there is some sort of surprise coming on in here. This is that's propelling you forward. It feels like it's like a lightning bolt, bolt moment and a lot of people go not another tower the devil card energy i mean this doesn't look very good already um we have the wheel of fortune it is a it is a turning point okay so they're indicating here with these cards um what is to come so the protagonist energy here that is propelling you forward is the tower energy there's some sort of surprise okay that pops up you may feel like it was unwanted but it's here to shake energy up, okay? Now, this may mean that, you know, I'm just giving you an example here before I check in with the energy. This may be, you know, perhaps you've not tried online dating before and you don't want to do it, but then you go and do it and it's a surprise. Actually, it's better than you expect, but it's something that puts you out of your comfort zone. Now, a lot of people, when they see the tower card, they get very, very distressed. They think, oh no, this is, you know, a horrific upheaval in my life. No. The, 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 the tower card is about a surprise, a lightning bolt from the blue that, you know, you have to make some sort of quick change, okay, um, in order to shake up energy. So they're indicating you're feeling stuck in your love life right now and um, an act of God or the an act of the universe like a lightning bolt, which is a natural act in the earth has to come on in to shake up the energy because if it doesn't Taurus you're going to stay where you are and you don't find love sitting on the sofa okay so that's the indication they're giving me here with this card now the tower card energy is uh, this lightning bolt moment um, you know it's, it's almost like they're giving me once you come out of your comfort zone and do something again they're showing me this group of people who kind of go walking somewhere so perhaps it's some sort of community event, Taurus, that you've gone, I don't want to be with those people. I don't want to go out there and do that. No, that's not my thing. It feels very much like where you push yourself out of your comfort zone to go somewhere. Obviously, stay safe and everything. Do all whatever you're supposed to be doing. Um, but it feels like once you push yourself out of a comfort zone, there's a lightning bolt moment with you and this person. It feels very much like love at first sight. Okay? Um, as you can see, that, that lightning bolt hits that eye, that third eye there. So your third eye is being opened here. There's some sort of ascension. So it's a very powerful energy to stop you from going round and round in circles in your love life. That's the en energy I'm getting from this card. Now, obviously I'm gonna pull a card on it and go deeper and find out what we're dealing with here. But they just wanna show you the traditional Rider Waite Tarot uh, tower. Now I may have shown you all before, but they're, uh, they're, they wanted me to show you. So it's not often that they do, I mean, they, they just went middle, middle. So they tell me exactly where to find this tower card. <laughs> um, so they want me to show you exactly how it, okay. Well, it was that way. Um, 
yeah, there we go. It was right next to the Ace of Cups, just to let you know. So it is a bit of a lightning bolt moment that um, brings on new love, as you can see that Ace of Cups, okay? Um, so the, the crown chakra is hit by a lightning bolt, okay? So that is you opening yourself up to uh, something, an event that is uncomfortable. It sets the building on fire and two people leap into the unknown. But if they stayed where they were, they're stuck and they're in a burning building. It's gonna be painful to stay where you are and you're going nowhere. You're just gonna get burnt and hurt. So they have to send, the universe sends an act of God, as it were, that comes down an act of fate um, because we do have fortune's wheel there. Um, to shake the energy up, to make you come out of your comfort zone so you take a leap of faith. Because you're not gonna find the person, as they keep saying to me that sentence, you're not gonna find the person, the soulmate sitting on the sofa waiting for it to happen, okay? Um, now, yeah, there's a leap of faith that is required here and it's gonna be a lucky one because you can see the overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, now with this tarot card, um, <laughs> Even though it's going to feel uncomfortable, they want you to stay optimistic, okay? It's it's hard, I know. It's human nature for us to be a little bit nervous about anything new, introducing anything new in our life. Uh, but they're, they're, it's almost like spirit saying, go with it, okay? Go with it, Taurus. Let it happen. Just let it flow, okay? Even if you're feeling, oh, I'm not so sure. Obviously, you know, don't do anything if your gut instinct is saying, don't do it, don't do it, then obviously don't do it. Always listen to your intuition. But it feels like, it's like an event that you've kind of pushed off going, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be with those people. I don't know those people. Um, why do I wanna go and do that? It really feels like you've got an attitude to a certain event. Now, I'm just giving you an example of people walking in the outdoors because they're showing me like a group of people just walking and looking at nature and stuff like that. Um, but it could be any event that's a, either a community event or some sort of event that has been uh, organized and you were thinking about it, but then there's something like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, okay? It turns out better than you expect and this is where you meet the person, okay? Now we have the devil card. It's in the antagonist position. So they're suggesting here, Taurus, and please, you know, I allow you to shoot me on this on this uh, occasion um, because it really feels like there is a little resistance here to letting something or someone from the past go. Okay, now this is Capricorn energy, uh, so someone may have a Capricorn placement there, but this could also be toxic cycles. Okay, it really feels like you need to let people see the real you, Taurus. Now you always come, I wanna say this in the best possible way, you always come in authenticity, always. You speak the truth, you say it how it is, you're very dependable, grounded, loyal, practical, you know, you call a spade a spade. That's the energy I get from Taurus. Um, but what I'm getting here is, there may be something about you that you feel like is unlovable, and you may hide it, and Spirit is saying no. Every, every ounce of you is lovable, Taurus, every ounce. And they want you to show this off to the world. They want you to show who you are, all, warts and all. They want you to show everything, okay? Because um, there is beauty in that, in that having, you know, being unapologetically yourself. Um, so they're just giving me a slight resistance to that. Uh, but they're also indicating um, there may be some sort of cycle that you're in. Now, this could be a, a toxic cycle of some sorts um, that you cannot get rid of. It could be anything right through to, you know, you're trying to give up smoking, or it could be, you know, um, you know, you have an addiction to, I don't know, chocolate, or um, some sort of toxic cycle that when things don't go well, you gravitate towards that cycle. It could be a person, it could be an addiction, you know, um, it could be even, some sort of like sexual lust. It could be anything that you feel has a hold over you. And I really feel at the moment you're just shedding, okay? But there's one little thing that's left to shed. They want you to be mindful of that. And it could even be, sorry, I'm just trying to tap into this energy. It could even be that, um, you know, you're a workaholic. Um, they're giving me this, a workaholic. 
and they gave me the word because sometimes I see like a black screen with white writing on it and they give me words and they just went workaholic so it could even be that you bury your head so much in work that you kind of go I don't have time to look for love I just don't have time and they're look they're asking you to look at how much of that is true and how much of that is an excuse to remain in your comfort zone there's something coming along that frees up either frees up your time or pushes you out of your comfort zone to actually come out and take a risk take a leap of faith there there's a gamble here and it pays off really well because this is where you meet your soulmate Taurus okay the wheel of fortune is the unifying energy so as you can see spirit is sending an act of God or an event or an act of fate here like a lightning bolt it'll happen quite quickly so get ready brace yourself but it is spirit taking you airlifting you out of a cycle that you're going around and around in that they feel like you're stuck in okay it's hard to find new love it so is this world you know there's so many people out there who are like looking for new love and when you're thinking about it you're like oh my gosh it's too hard to think about and you just sort of bury your head in work or in the tv or something because it's difficult to think about they understand that so they're sending um they're sending an event or something to airlift you out of this mode of feeling stuck and going round and round in circles. But during that time, they want you to recognize that your time bearing your head in these things was not wasted because actually you were, it's almost like you were in an incubation period, Taurus. They're giving me this energy here. Can you see this figure? It's almost like in a cocoon. Okay, so it was a growth period for you. So it is about, you know, learning to love yourself, to know that you're enough. It was to remember um, to be optimistic and, um, you know, have courage and all of those wonderful things um, that were meant to be learned along the way. You were learning them. You may not have even recognized that you were learning them, but I get a, a, a feeling, um, an energy from this card that you've been doing a lot of work, actually, on your soul journey. Um, so there is, uh, this is a turning point just so you're aware, a uh, turning point here where um, good fortune is now on your side. Lady Luck brings you into this the vicinity of the person you're meant to be with, this soulmate energy, true love, okay? So we're just going to go and find out a little bit more uh, of the details of who we're dealing with here. just want to move my camera there. So I'm using the Light Seers Tarot to give a little bit more of the details. Thank you. Ooh, they want that one. Eight of Cups. So you're walking away from anything uh, that does not serve you emotionally. Uh, but they just went, get outside. Get outside. That's what they're giving me. And, I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. the Two of Cups in reverse. Thank you so much, Spirit Guide. Ooh, this is, now, the, the deck all of a sudden, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, it all of a sudden got very charged. And they've asked me to be silent. One moment, please. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here we go. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, okay? So this is you walking away from anything that does not serve you. You've done a lot of work here, okay? Um, there may have been a, someone abandoned you in the past, or you felt abandoned by fate, Lady Luck, the universe, um, and overlooked when it came to new love, okay? Um, so with this Eight of Cups, um, they're indicating that you're, you're moving on to your happiness. As you can see on the horizon, just there, is the sun. So you're moving towards a, a very joyous outcome, but you're leaving anything that does not serve you behind, okay? Um, it feels like, it's not that you're burning bridges, Taurus, but I really see like a match being flicked over your shoulder, like, damn, to the past okay and you're setting it on fire <laughs> and as you walk away there is a brighter future for you to come um but it really feels like they've asked me to just check in with this one moment please yeah uh, they're really highlighting this cup over here okay as you can see that that cup is kind of sinking Okay, it's, it's in the water. It's like done and done. You're kind of like, you're over something and you're walking away. And they're indicating here two of cups in the reverse that there was either some sort of breakup or separation in the past um, that sometimes you may gravitate towards um, in your thoughts. It doesn't mean you want to get back with that person, um, but there, there is a, it feels like something 
that you're separated from or you know either it was a, a divorce or you know um you thought you were going to be with someone and they abandoned the connection um there it feels like with the two of cups in reverse here um you're letting go of this person finally the residue everything okay from whatever it was uh, from whoever you separated from because this is you completely walking away it's like you know what you need to do but there's just a final residue because it's over the devil card so you may even think about this person at 3 a.m think why why did they do that you know you know, all those conversations they're still in your mind if you're still thinking about them you know what you think about you bring about so um they're just indicating here you know there is a definite ending of something in the past that needs to be let go of okay when you got that two of cups in the reverse in this position they're showing me a resistance to um completely separating energetically from this person now we do have a judgment card it's over the wheel of fortune so they're indicating here on your life path okay judgment is you know about um you know what you need to do Okay, you understand what you need to do to move forward and you're being called in the direction um, to, you know, follow your path, follow your life purpose, whatever it is that you wanted to do, either for career um, or it feels like when you make a final decision to let go of whatever this is in the past, and this could be, you know, being connected to toxic cycles. And by toxic cycles, as I said, it could be addictions to something that you feel like is a part of you in some way um it feels like you meet this person this new person comes on in when you're just doing life when you're getting on with life okay now you could meet this person as i said outside because there's something about they keep giving me this image of outside but also they could be connected to work because the judgment card um this is when it, it's connect it's like a wake-up call it's when you're doing your life purpose the the wheel of fate sends an event your way and uh, connects you with this soulmate that comes on in it also feels like a bit of a surrender to the universe you know divine timing is at play here and that you're it's almost like you're opening yourself up to it okay um now i'm just going to go to find out a little bit more about who's coming on in for you or what's going on what they want to talk about um I'm using the English Magic Tarot. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know about new love? The Empress. Loving that. See, you know your worth. You're walking away from anything that is beneath you that you do not deserve there. Oof. There we go. We got the Hangman. Anything else we need to know for my beautiful Taurus? Can you please guide them? You want that one. Knight of Coins. Okay, so um, they're indicating here um, with the Knight of Coins. I'm just going to pull another card on that Knight of Coins because they're indicating something to do with finances here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Sun. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you work too hard, Taurus. You're working too hard, okay? When you just step away from the finances for a little bit, then you're going to meet this person, okay? And I know bills got to be paid and stuff, but uh, they're, they're kind of indicating a little bit here um about um you know working very hard there um so we got the empress and uh, this is a beautiful energy major arcana so it's faded once you believe in yourself and love yourself know your worth which is how i'm you know it's like staying optimistic then you're getting you're magnetizing the love towards you, okay? So you're about to get your emperor, basically. Male or female, this is not a gender-specific reading. Um, but what they're indicating here is some event has made you walk away from something that was not emotionally fulfilling, okay? And now you're about to receive a lot of abundance when it comes to love. This is about being, you know, radiating beauty from within and out. And then, you know, you're creating um, what you truly desire. You're magnetizing it towards you. When you get the Empress, this is about being so beautiful and attracting love and, you know, um, something that will lead to a, a commitment that, you know, could lead to a pregnancy or, you know, being very fertile. Um, 
it feels like a lot of abundance is coming towards you after a period of, you know, feeling stuck there. It also feels like um, a lot of people are finding you quite attractive right now, Taurus. You may not feel like it, but they're indicating here, when you got the Empress, you're the best of the best, Taurus, okay? This person, as soon as they meet you, is going to be like, bam, I want a piece of Taurus. And they don't just want a piece of you, Taurus. Um, they're really indicating they actually want you all, okay? They want you all to themselves. And um, we got the Hangman card. This is Pisces energy. So they're indicating here with this Pisces energy um, that you're... You're undecided about letting go of something from the past, okay? You're still making a decision. You haven't gained a new perspective on this situation. Um, you may have been dealing with someone who's very selfish in the past, and, you know, um, maybe they even come back into your life sometimes and say, hey, what's up? And you're like, damn, I haven't heard from you in about six months. Where have you been? Okay? Um, nobody's too busy, to not be contacting you okay just to, just to let you know that so if you've got any question mark over someone who it feels like they do not have your best interest at heart even though you know there may be some sort of chemistry here with this person from the past it feels like you know what you need to do Taurus you got to let this person go in order to allow this new love connection to come towards you because the universe won't send you this new person until you're ready and as you can see here the knight of coins when we got knight of coins in the reverse this is a very stubborn energy okay uh, this is about um it feels like when you look at your love situation you go it's not working they're asking you now don't shoot the messenger on this part because i'm just giving you what the energy of this card is when you say it's not working they're asking you but how much work are you putting into looking for your soulmate because it feels like you're putting a lot of hard work Taurus into your finances and into your career but when it comes to love there is something here where you have to come out of your comfort zone okay um, because it feels like only when you make it a solid investment into finding love and I feel like this person crosses your prosperity path they, they, they cross your life purpose path. When you're doing what you love, fate is stepping in, okay? Um, and you got the sun. So the sun card is about a joyous outcome. A miracle is about to happen um, on the physical plane when it comes to your love situation. And um, this new person's going to come on in here. Uh, but it feels very much once you dedicate a little bit more work into enjoying yourself, Okay, and um, and in doing what you love there, then the soulmate connection seems to come on in here. Okay, Ooh. Uh, you probably didn't see that, but I just got a big uh, sort of uh, white orb flash in front of my eyes. Ooh. Um, so knocking off that rose quartz, very important. Rose quartz is obviously for love. And um, we're just going to go to the Fountain to Row um, to gain any further information about who's coming towards you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. I was going to say, I've been reading some of the comments. I'm going to get through to all of you as soon as I can. I'm going through them slowly but surely. Um, but there's been a few comments about people seeing orbs uh, in my readings, uh, which is very exciting. There we go, the new start. Okay, wonderful energy. But you got to take a risk. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Going, ooh. So this one here, Ace of Wands, loving that. Ace of Cups, okay. So they're indicating here, this person from the past, they got nothing new to say, Taurus. So if you're trying to weigh up whether you can get back to this person from the past, it looks like it's not going anywhere, okay? There's new coming for you, okay? Very, very powerful energy here. Um, so yeah, I, I, as I was saying, uh, just now I saw a wonderful white orb that um, I'm, I'm going to check the camera and see it was around about here. Um, so um, sometimes when I see white orbs, maybe they're not caught on the camera, but sometimes I don't see them and you guys see them and they're in the, um, so they're in the video. Um, so I will watch that back. Um, but it really feels like that orb was giving me a, a warmth of you're divinely guided. Okay. So don't worry about things. It's going to happen for you. And actually quite soon, we're going to pull a card on if they can give me a timeline, but we got the full card. Okay. So this is a fresh hope. Remember, have faith, stay optimistic. You have a wonderful new start available to you, okay? It feels like 
it feels uncomfortable, I gotta say. Now, you could have been in a relationship for a very long time, Taurus, with somebody else, and you know, you've recently split up with someone and you're like, what? I'm out of the dating game, I don't know, okay? So it feels like it may feel uncomfortable at first, but it's, it's wonderful, okay? It's a very exciting new adventure that's opening up to you. And it's, a, and it, a, it's almost like a, a journey of discovery, okay? This full card is, um, you do have to take a leap of faith. You have to take a risk, okay? So if you can, because they're giving me that word work, workaholic again. So if you can take your mind off your work for a little while, do something to put yourself out of the comfort zone for a little bit. Even if it's taking a different, you know, a walk somewhere that's different or, you know, joining a group that's different. They're indicating here that you do something different in order to put your own, yourself on the path to meeting this new love that comes on in here. Okay, so it is a wonderful, um, it feels very free. Okay, there's no baggage here. It's, it's very exciting. Oh. Okay, now this is very precise. It's for somebody out there. I think uh, Iceland came up a while ago. Maybe not for you, Taurus, but um, for somebody. But they've just given me, and it's, maybe it's because of this card, but um, they've actually just given me Glacier Walk, Iceland. So perhaps you've planned a holiday for a Glacier Walk somewhere. Perhaps it's Iceland or somewhere where they have glaciers and there's ice there on the land I'm not sure um, but they're indicating um, perhaps going somewhere um, and there is a one this is where you meet the person okay now we do have the ace of cups it's in the reverse position but it's in the resistance position with this devil card energy okay someone that from the past that you may have been with that you've had you you're not with at the moment that you've separated from you you're You've got a question mark over them. They're indicating with this Ace of Cups in the reverse that you feel disappointed by the relationship, okay? It feels like you've been let down by somebody and it's got you all up in your head. Spirit is giving me the guidance with these cards to indicate that um, to move on from this, okay? Let this go because uh, it feels like there's no investment in this past connection. Um, it is about releasing this energy, okay? Um, Obviously, if you can overcome the cycle that you're in with this person and, um, you know, um, you can work things out, then, of course, you could have a new start with this person from the past, but only if things change. But as this reading stands, it feels very much like um, there's no going back on this past relationship. There is a new passion coming your way with this ace of wands it's divinely guided okay this is the wonderful exciting electric kind of energy that i was getting from the deck earlier soulmate coming on in so they're just clarifying here this wonderful new love now in terms of um like they keep giving me um when I get an indicator, they keep giving me Gemini, okay? I have to say that even though I'm not seeing um, a Gemini card on here, they're giving me Gemini. So um, you could also be dealing with uh, someone who's a fire element. Um, so Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, especially with that full card, that is an Aries card as well. So you could be dealing with someone who's coming on in who is an Aries placement, um, but Aries or Leo, okay, um, but uh, they do, separately from this, they're actually giving me Gemini, okay, now we're just going to get any final uh, messages here with the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, anything final that my beautiful Taurus needs to know regarding new love, can you please guide them, what do they need to, oof. how's that, um, so I just need to show, because I picked it up like this, but it's actually meant to be like this. I just want to clarify that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it was meant to be in the upright, okay? Um, I just want to pull a card on that as well, because um, just to clarify, it was meant to be in the upright. Um, because the cards turned like this, they were actually on a level, so I get, I get told how to pick them up, 
but I was meant to pick them up like that and I didn't so just so you, you're aware but I'm gonna pull a card on it just to kind of prove it I like to prove it to myself as much as to anybody else can you please clarify this Emperor's card thank you so much how would you like to receive thank you yeah so the new start comes with believing in yourself you deserve better and there we go blocked okay so they're indicating here knowing your worth you're very attractive at this time uh, Taurus there um, I have to say um, that knowing your worth and knowing that you're lovable it makes you even more attractive okay um, you stand out amongst everybody when um, this soulmate comes into your sphere. It is a lightning bolt kind of moment, okay? Um, a lot of abundance in love is coming towards you. This is almost like you being an earth goddess or god, okay? Even though it's an empress card, male or female, it's about the energy, not the um, the gender there. But there, I just wanted to clarify that I was supposed to definitely pick it up in the, um, the upright, and they're indicating there um, definitely with that eight of swords in the reverse eight of swords in the reverse is like you know knowing your worth freeing yourself up and um escaping any kind of anxiety so they're suggesting that you know your worth okay you you know who you are and you're lovable okay and everybody else is finding you wonderfully lovable as well which is really beautiful energy they're just giving you a little bit of guidance here in terms of this person that you may have uh, separated from um, don't hold on to anything that does not serve you with that four of pentacles because it just ends up leading you clouded okay uh, it's clouded judgment okay it's blocking your intuition if you hold on too tight to anything that does not serve you so they want you to be mindful to let go okay let go of anything that you find um, is not about long-term security okay you can you can just check in on your intuition you know when someone is not in it for the long haul okay Taurus so they just want you to be mindful oh they asked me to go one more I don't want this reading to be like two hours long but they just said one more so uh, I'll go one more thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Taurus what's the final message ace of wands there we go so I love it when they do that they just uh, thank you so much I'm truly grateful so they're indicating um, new new passion new love is coming for you it is soulmate it's divinely guided okay so this is um you know a desire to merge with this person an urge to merge as it were a lot of passion here a lot of chemistry that's your double ace of wands can you see that so um yeah new person coming on in divinely guided the person in the past Bye bye to them. It feels like um, obviously you have free will, so you can go whichever way you want to. Um, but they're indicating this wonderful new love comes on in. Um, I'm going to try and pull a card on um, timeline, see if they give it to me. But at the moment, I'm getting an indication that it's kind of like towards the end of October. But uh, I I'll have to. I'll have to. Wow, okay, they're giving me, this, uh, I just touched this card, they're giving me a very specific image, okay, and it's someone who has, that someone who has slippers that are in the shape of a dog, yeah, like slippers that are dog slippers or something, and um, they're quite cute and funny, um, if that's you, then there's something in this message for you, or if that means something to you in some way, then there's something in this message for you, okay, um, but they're showing me slippers, so whenever they show me something like that, it feels very comfortable, okay? It feels very homely, very subtle, very grounded, very practical energy. Um, perhaps you and this person will like, you know, that's you. you'll have some nice little dog slippers. I'm not sure. But if it resonates, then there's something in this message for you. Um, they just want to show you um, this. Um, the cloud, um, after a period of feeling very clouded and unsettled in previous situations to do with love um, the hand of fate comes on in okay to rescue the situation and offer you um, a new divinely guided love here a new passion it will lead to a lot of growth as you can see there's lots of uh, leaves growing there uh, it'd be very fertile but it is um, sent from the universe a gift from the universe because it's uh, it's time Taurus it's time to receive this new passion and they really want to highlight as well this river rivers run deep but they're showing me that the river goes somewhere okay so this is this longevity in this connection that's coming on in for you um so th this will lead somewhere 
okay very 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 exciting energy wow okay we'll leave it there my beautiful taurus i'm just going to give you a uh, wisdom of the oracle to close the reading thank you so much spirit guys guide angels anything else my beautiful taurus need to know before we close can you please guide them for their highest good thinker how would you like to receive okay uh, so we got thinker but it's in the reverse okay it's number 44 so um when you reduce it four plus four i'll show you in the upright is eight so that's about strength okay again leo energy so very uh, even though they keep giving me gemini on that i get a black screen as i said with white writing they're saying gemini gemini um so they're indicating the the strength card um with this so this is about you know a lot of self-love unconditional respect and sort of courage know your knowing your worth and that's what brings you on in this soulmate okay now we got the thinker it's in the reverse so perhaps they're indicating don't overthink things because that's when you end up blocked as you can see in the upright this figure is overthinking and sitting on a lot of blocks okay so we're just going to read what it says in the book because i wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong how did that get over there Okay, obviously I put this over here, but this does not live there, so I'm not sure how that got there. Okay, never mind. Well, that's something for me to check in with my guides with later. Um, so, 44. Perhaps uh, there's an indication that is a jade stone, just to let you know. So perhaps there's a reason why it was on top of the book, Wisdom of the Oracle and Jade. So perhaps Jade is very important for you at this time. Perhaps your name is Jade or uh, your person who's coming on in is Jade, or in some way has Jade in the name, okay? Um, and we have the message in the reverse. It says, protection message. You might be suffering from analysis paralysis. Thinking has its place, but trying to figure everything out logically is not going to work right now. Your conclusions will likely be faulty, and you may act upon false assumptions that will get you in a jam. Give your mind a rest, do something creative, exercise or meditate. Soon you'll come to your senses and have an aha moment that will bring new clarity. Okay, this makes total sense. Do something you love. They're like, get outside, do something that you love doing. When you're doing something there on that wonderful, with that judgment card, um, doing something that you love, that is, you know, that you feel is definitely your life purpose. That's when you have your aha moment and you meet this person. Okay, so workaholic Taurus, do something you love, raise those vibrations, get out there. And this new love coming on in very soon, end of October. Um, I'll leave that there. I did say I'll pull a card on it to see if we can get a timeline. Let's see if they, they will give me a timeline. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please give a timeline? Also, Six of Cups in the reverse, they're indicating person from the past. No it's in the reverse ha huh? the devil card in reverse once you let the person from the past go two cards indicating i mean you can't write this stuff taurus i love it when they do this thank you so much spirit guides guardian angel i'm truly grateful so yeah when you let go then it starts to flow okay so we're gonna leave it there i'll put that over there um my beautiful taurus whatever the toxic cycle is once you let that go it may even be once you start believing in yourself knowing that you're beautiful and enough. Let go of any toxic cycle. That could even be the way that you talk to yourself. Ooh, bit of dust there. Um, the way that you talk to yourself. It could be, you know, think, it could be a cycle of you believing that you're not deserving of love. Once you let that go and know that you are enough and you're beautiful, then the new love comes on in. So we're just going to get a trinket before we go. Thank you so much for your guys, my angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? Okay. So we have the key. Okay. Uh, the key there uh, is to unlock it all. Oh, so they're, they're, they're showing me that the key uh, has like little round balls on top of it. And they're showing me like the planets. The key is trust the universe in divine timing. Everything has a time and a place. Surrender to the universe and everything will be in alignment. That's the key to unlocking it all. Trust in the process. One, two, three, four. 
They asked me to just count it. So one, two, three, four. So four is the emperor card, okay? So someone who plans for the future and you're the emperor. So the key to unlocking it all, your emperor is on its way. And four is about stable foundations, okay? Also, it's an Aries card. So they give me that Aries again. Aries, Leo, very heavy in the placements there. Where would you like this? Wheel of Fortune. Turning point. The key is the turning point. Luck is on your side. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, uh, that went on long enough. <laughs> um, I do apologize for the lengthy ones, but I'm here as long as the message is. Um, I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Good luck with this situation, my beautiful Taurus. Love and love.